Du, 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 du. Oh. Hey, okay. nope. Just wanna chill out. Oh, oh, that one. Oh dear. Oh dear. I was gonna try and say hello to people, but they're waking up. Oh, I did spend a long time talking this morning instead of letting mommy get to sleep. You've got dirt on you. down I'll see if I can mess with the options oh, I'm playing um King of Fighters EX Neo Blood the first one um, uh, this does not help me with the Okay, well, it turns out I can't do, um, I can't mess with the audio settings properly, which is a shame. Oh well, okay, so I'm playing Street Fighter EX. In fact, we'll just go for a complete Fatal Fury team. Because I want to play as um, Terry. I might as well have my end thingy. Um, I played through this earlier today with like a hodgepodge team. Because I like doing that. Um, so yeah, this is King of Fighters on the Game Boy Advance. And it's actually quite good. Apart from the music. The music is somehow worse than... I think by this point, Fatal my playthrough of Fatal Fury on the um, thingy... What's it called? On the Game Gear will have come out. And this has somehow manages to have worse audio. And it's got alright voice clips. But it's got just really unpleasant music. And I'm struggling to get my inputs out, which is a bit awkward. I'm trying to remember, where's the roll? Is there a roll in this one? Oh well. Also, it's getting used to where everything is. Because it's on GBA. Like, the shoulder buttons are the, um, are your heavies. But, um, but despite that, I'm playing it on the 30 quid special, so, so they are all face buttons, but they're in, they're not in places I would put them. I like to do YX as punches and AB as kicks. Where's sort of all wrong anyway yeah terry says good job so yeah i'm playing as a fatal fury team so in this one it is terry and um terry and andy and my with joe as a striker i have no idea how to do the strikers in this one it doesn't tell you it doesn't actually tell you anything really you can't you can't even look up what the uh like you can't change the button mapping is wild well I mean I could change the button mapping like what my emulator does but you know um yeah I'm coming up against Team Psycho Soldier I just beat up the child and now we're up against Athena come on Tez although you, you beat the child and that's normally our personal barrier to entry. Yeah, why can't you get crack shoot off? Why is it not working? Oh well. That's okay, so that's Terry gone. Right. Oh, 
what do we do with Andy? I cannot remember how Andy works. He's got the thing where he dives across the screen, doesn't he? Is he a charge? He's not a charge, is he? There's not many charge characters. In oh, I thought that was you dead. Oh well. Come on, grab. I'm learning all these weird things. I was going to play um, Black Belt thingy, but I didn't know if I'd do any good at it. Whereas I actually like just did this first try this morning. Not this morning, this afternoon. I don't know. But yeah, I did a hodgepodge team because this has some original characters. And I believe the second one of the GBA ones has um, an actual story in it. There we go, one again. You can't win on talents alone, says Andy Bogard. I mean, I'm just going oh, top to bottom. I should probably pick my first at some point. Right, I'm up against an art fighting team, and this includes King. But yeah. Yeah, given what the GBA's sound chip was capable of, it's kind of a bit, it's a little bit, it sounds like a NES soundtrack. I know it's got more sound channels than that, but that's what it sounds like. But yeah, I mean, I know the um, GBA's not got like SNES sound levels on it, but... Still not, no, not this bad. There we go. That's oh no, that's not Rio dead yet. No, it's Rio dead. Not dead. Ugh. Oh, you asleep again now? Daddy being boring with his video games. Oh. Yeah, you got Yuri, the best of the Art of Fighting team characters, as your striker. So I can just beat up Robert, who is... So of his time. Because Art of Fighting, I was like, Art of Fighting meant to be... Art of Fighting's the Fatal Fury prequel. Because they're meant to be like 1970s martial arts films. Anyway, let's go to my first. I'm not being very good at being descriptive. I'm just playing and just nattering. Um, a fighting the Ikari Warriors team in a museum with a with a T Rex head and stuff. Are these the ones from? Are these the backgrounds from '99. Okay. Yeah. My, I can't remember your moves either. I can remember how to throw fans. That's about it. Yeah, just like kick her in the shins. That's fine. So that's Leona down. Leona is an amazing design. Like, I think the other Akari Warriors, like, I get that they are from an older series. You know, like, Akari Warriors, the Rambo as fuck looking, um, action game from oh that's a thing now oh, there we go that's one of them you think you got another one aha there oh well well i worked out my special moves just in time for her to get punched out by ralph Yeah, I think these um, backgrounds are from 99. That looks very familiar anyway. Pretty sure I've lost a match in here. Yeah, it might be because it's a GBA one, but this feels like it's actually quite easy for King of Fighters. Apart from the bosses. The bosses are... Um, well, no. One of the bosses is hard, and the other boss was actually surprisingly easy, but also, like... Why are you here, mate? There we go, Fatal Fury. Well, one again. Good job. 
Right, and now I'm up against Team Fatal Fury Clones. Ooh. Let me see. Like... It might be me, but like that sounds like well, actually, I mean, it sounds a bit less nezzy, but like it sounds a bit like it sounds a bit like Streets of Rage too. Put that boo 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 boo. Like right. I'll say it, let's pause. Yeah, let's have to, uh, I mean, that sounds that sounds almost exactly like um, Streets of Rage 2, doesn't it? Oh well, but yeah, no, it's good. It's responsive. Finding out that the GBA was inexplicably like very good for um. Oh fuck no! Hi, hi! You're kicking my ass. Um. Yeah, I played before with, um, so normally, I'll, um, if I'm trying out a KOF to see if I, see how much I'd embarrass myself, I judge it by, like, how I'd do with a team of Terry, Benamaru, and Arando. So, like, most characters and King of Fighters you can kind of work your way around like I think I think if you can do like you can do fighting game steer you, it's not like the difficulty is actually from the difficulty you know there we go did your weird hand spring nonsense yeah that one there you go well done Andy Andy? Yeah. But yeah, pick Terry Bogard and Ben Amaro and Arando. I team Team Justice the Kim Capuan. Um so yeah, yeah, that and so do them and the new character who is filling in Goro's spot on um Team Japan. Ah, there you go. I'm sure you had like a fireball or something, Andy. There you go. Can't tell what I'm doing. This is terrible audio. Um, but basically, like this game responds really nicely. There's a sequel to it somewhere. Oh, on my big list of ROMs, but I don't know how well it's going to work. I think it's the one which, like, hasn't always worked for me. But, um, and this just has arcade modes and survival and versus. Well, it's got a practice mode as well. I don't know how good the practice mode is. I'm not, um, this might be why I'm not very good at fighting games. Is that, um, I don't... Oh, I accidentally did his anti air. Um, but yeah, I don't spend time actually in the um, training mode of games. I know you're meant to. Like, I had, um, back when I lived in London, you can't run on talent alone. Um, I played with, like, I lived with, oh, this is it. This is the place for the ceremony. This is my talking. <sighs> the city streets turned. Oh, sure's quiet. They're inside somewhere. You're the winning team, says um, Fingy Yagami. You're Yagami, what are you doing here? Very well, your pain will end soon. You said it. Yeah, it's... um. Ugh. Oh, I can't remember his name. You're like, you're like the main, the main baddie. Well, not baddie, but rival character. Iori, there you go. That's your name. 
Oh, this is not going to go well. So Iori is really hard. Iori is actually like a really hard boss. Well, not SNK hard. I mean, like, it's still very, very easy for King of Fighters. And I've not put it down to, like, normally, normally I do these, I put it down to the easiest setting. Because normally it's like, you know, these collections are normally arcade collections that are, like, you just set them to the, oh, God. I've rather beat Iori three times and I'm fucking it up. Okay, right. Because, yeah, I might lose against Iori, but I'll do, I'll hit start and try again because I can do it. I did it today. But Iori is the, the, the one place I struggled because he's very, very good. Ah, 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 my lord. And then, um, his projectile that goes along the floor, a bit like Terry's, is, um, I don't know, it works weird. Feels like it should be easier to hop over or to do, like, I was trying to dodge it with crack shoot, because I can't remember which KOF it was in, but, like, Crack shoot was like quite a good. Um... Come on, Andy, your last one. It's not going well for you. Oh my god. Yeah, it was really hard to dodge it. Oi, uh, uh, oi, 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 oi! Take my light kicks and my punches. Stop dodging. Ah, there you go. Right, right. I won one round. I'm going to lose this now, and it's going to be embarrassing. Uh, can I do another two rounds with not much health? And not being able to consistently get out his um, things. Yeah, oh, yeah, oh there we go. Hmm, what piffle? Oh, that's not the... Oh, he had the best win quote last time I played. I say, I am not a euthanasia clinic. And that was... Uh, that was like, oh, that's in terrible taste. But um, it's a good line. Oh, fucking hell. Can you fuck off? Why, why can't I get crack shoot off? Is this one where it's a quarter or a half circle? Because that varies, isn't it? Yeah. We've got the upper. Bah, bah. Fucking dickhead. Right, first round goes to me. Ugh. Right, for those of you who. I, I keep not describing shit. So let's talk about these characters. No point me doing everyone in the game, you know? It's a fighting game. Gotta keep going. Gotta keep moving. Gotta keep kicking in the face. So, I'm playing as Terry Bogard, who is a big, strong boy. Yeah, 90s, 80s action hero. Just a muscly chap with jeans, red sneakers, a white t-shirt. A red jacket with the sleeves torn off because it's, you know, a Japanese property. He's got long blonde hair and a ponytail. He doesn't in this game, but sometimes he has a monkey. Oh, yep. Right. No. Oh, for fuck's sake. That grab's ludicrous. Fuck off. Fuck off. Fuck off. Fuck off. Fuck off. Um. Ah, oh, what? He can turn it into a thing I can't actually jump over. That's ludicrous. Fuck off, mate. Oh. Dicks. Um, but yeah. And he's got a red hat. And he's now gone. Now playing as his brother, who has long blonde hair and a ninja outfit. And is getting his ass handed to him. Because Iori. Fucking Iori. Get fucked, mate. Oh! 
Oh, there's an arm on there. If I hit all the inputs at once. Oh, cool. Right, just kick the Yori in the face. Can't learn on talent alone. Well, he's also got the power of the Orochi nonsense going on with him. Arg, ga, ha. Oh no, not the Orochi rage. You're whacked, sideshow freak. I'm no slave of Orochi lineage. The geese, Howard goes close, so close. Geese, why you? Geese and Terry are enemies. I almost have the Orochi power. So that's it, says my. That's the reason for holding KOF. To awaken the Ori's Orochi blood. He must be pushed to his limit. And KOF was to solve my problem. Can it, geese? It's all over, says Terry. It's very fast. They never they never give you time to read. Right, so I'm fighting against Geese Howard, who is the villain of a lot of the Fatal Fury series. The guy in Real Belt? Or whatever it is. Ugh, the one after three. Where they name change the name of the series. The one which is kind of a retelling and kind of a... Oi! Get Burning Knuckle. Burning Knuckle. Burning Knuckle. Don't do it now he's down, you wanker. Fucking hell. Input's not doing that well. That just might just be me not being very good at the game. But yeah. Geese Howard is a big, strong, blonde boy. It's a bit of a theme in Fatal Fury. Um, But he's like a mob boss. Who, for some reason... Dresses in a hakama and gay dealy because that's how strong bad guys dressed in the 90s. Fatal Fury in general was very, very 90s. There we go, burn knuckle him down so yeah, Terry can just jump in front with flaming fists or hit the ground. Oh, he's got, like, a pretty cool, like, well, if it would let me do it. He's got all sorts of cool moves. But, yeah. I think Terry's about to lose. Well, maybe. Uh... Yeah, one. Good job, says Terry. It's nothing against Wubba Lubba Dub Dub, I'm in the pink. The Orochi power eluded me, says Geese, but you showed me a good time. Hey, evil one, says Andy. Just where are you going, Geese? Escape? It's you who will flee, says Geese. And everything explodes. If you survive, let's meet again. If you survive. Unbelievable, says Andy. Trying to master the Orochi power. Geese, that fool. Whatever. At least he'll lay low presently. Whatever, says Mai. I say let's party. How about it? Good idea, says Terry. We'll call Mary. We'll cut loose. Then let's do it, says Mai. Oh, brother, says Andy. You two re need a reality check. Kyo, Kyo didn't show up then, eh, says Iori. Whatever, I'll get him. Someday soon. Ky whatever, it's no concern of mine. A lot of whatever's in this. But yeah. Yeah, so... This is definitely one for people who already know what the characters look like, because I did not do a good job at, at describing on the fly. But yeah. Oh, I should have mentioned my my Shirinui. Shirinui. Oh, dear. She's, um... Maybe an item with Andy? Like, is that canon now? She's always been sort of chasing after Andy. Is there anything after the credits on this. It's getting a lot of names. It kind of almost did a bit name that um this is a point this is past the point where they actually started using the real names. I was playing some um 
Dark Stalkers. Vampire Savior 2. And um, Thingy Hunter 2. And like it's while they still would do pseudonyms. Which someone told me was like a whole thing where they would they'd use pseudonyms because the company didn't want them getting headhunted. But also I've been told that it's because um like you'd be looked down on if you worked in the video game industry. Which seems weird. Both seem weird. Oh my total score was eight thousand four hundred and ten. Okay. I'm nowhere near the high scores. The high scores were all very high, and I'm not sure how you're sus expected to do that, because I didn't... Mm, I lost once. Oh, it'll reset when you do hit continue. So that's the score from, from Geese. That's why. Oh, well. But, yeah. But, yeah, um, it's, like I say, it's pretty good. It's a pretty good little GBA fighting game. It's short. Not that many characters. Well, actually, no, there's loads of characters. What am I on about? I'm just spoiled by playing KOF games. Uh, but, um, yeah, that's pretty good. I was gonna pl I was going to play some Pokemon this morning, but I didn't really have the time. So I ended up coming down with this girl at yeah, about six. It's about half six now. And I'm um, going to have to get the other one up in a bit to get her to school. Because we walk, even though it probably isn't advisable to. God, I've got so much to do today. It's ludicrous. I haven't had a coffee yet. Oh, but this little girl is sleeping. Uh, but yeah. Not, not to sound too much like a 1990s... Um, not to sound too much like a 1990s review, but like the game options are button config between four and three buttons. The difficulty, playtime per round. Oh, that's my half six alarm. But yeah, and like how many striker slots you get. I would have liked to be able to turn that music down a bit and turn the voice samples up a bit. Maybe you can in the next one. We'll find out. Eventually. Yeah. Next time I do a absolutely not describing it in the slightest, I play KOF while struggling to sound interesting in this. That's all. But yeah, we're going to do. We're going to do Pokemon. For the next few mornings. And we're going to be doing Pokemon Violet. That'll be fun. Small person does not care. Small person likes comfortable daddy. Right. See you later, cool cats.